Yeah, the first couple of days is just about integrating into the squad. We've uh, had some activities and some team building and getting to know each other and just getting that uh, togetherness for the squad. So uh, yeah, everybody's settled in well, excited to be uh, looking forward to a, a big autumn series. So great location in Jersey. Um, lots of guys that are, you know, experience it for the first time as well. So uh, yeah, all good, all ready to get into the next three days of training really. Yeah, I think so. Look, it's look, it's, it's out of the way. It's a great location. Um, beaches are great for doing lots of activities. Um, Jersey Rugby Club's a great facility. Um, Strive, obviously, great facility to do all our conditioning and, and meetings. So, uh, look, it's a great place. The weather's uh, the weather's being kind to us at the moment, so uh, that's nice. So, yeah, look, it's an uh, important camp for us, and and Jersey, uh, you know, it ticks a lot of those boxes that we need to to be together. Great facilities. Um, and just gives us an opportunity to make sure we're preparing as well as we can. Oh, look, we've got lots of good leaders in the squad. I mean, Eddie will have an idea of, of what he, who he wants to be, uh, you know, take potentially take into captain's the autumn. So um, there's a lot to go yet. So there's, you know, there's not everybody's ruled out of the of the captaincy equation. Um, so, but we're, we've got guys that have captained their clubs, and we've got guys that are leading behind the scenes anyway in their in their own way. So. We've got lots of options. It gives opportunities to somebody else to potentially step up if needed. Um, but uh, we're just worrying on preparing, really, worrying about uh, how we're going to play um, and uh, preparing the team as well as we can. And the the captaincy uh, is really a secondary thought behind getting as well prepared as we can. Yeah, I think so. From what I understand, lots of rugby clubs come to the island to train, as as do football clubs. So, like, like I said, it's uh, it's a great place to come. It's not very far. Uh, it's out the way. Um, the locals are very friendly and and, and leave us to our, our own devices. Uh, and there's great training facilities. So uh, and by and large, um, the weather's the weather's um, pretty kind to us. So uh, it ticks all the boxes, like I said. And it's um, you know we've had uh, positive experiences here, and uh, see no reason why we, we wouldn't come back and use it again. And just yeah, obviously they've been with their clubs. It's good to get them, you know, away from uh, you know other other training bases that we're, we're going to spend a lot of time at over the next uh, twelve months. So just that little break, uh, change of scenery, um, good stimulus, and lots of different things to do. Obviously with the the, the sea and the beach. Um, so it's uh, like just that change, just that different environment, just different surroundings. As we found, has been very useful in in uh, in keeping the boys on task and, and making sure that we prepare as well as we can. Thank you. Morning, Cockers. Duncan. Hi, Duncan. Hi. What's the latest on Luke and Dickie's knee injury, please? Um, Luke took part in some units this morning. Um, so it's, uh, as, as far as I'm aware, it's it's settling well. Um, and uh, there's there's every chance that he will train fully next week. Can you just talk a bit about the two alternatives, uh, Hooker, Jack Singleton and George McGuigan? What, what's been your impression of those two players? Yeah, I've been very impressed with both of them, both playing forward packs that uh, are very good at set piece, um, both at scrum and, and line out. So uh, they fit that that mould for us very, very well. Um, obviously, they've been in and around the squad previously um, and, you know, they're working very hard to uh, take the opportunity if the opportunity comes. So we've... Um, We've obviously got some uh, some quality hookers uh, in in the in in and around the England squad. Uh, obviously, there's some injury concerns with with guys that have been that, that been the favoured ones previously. But uh, as you can imagine, that they're, they're uh, working very hard. If the opportunity arises, that they're, they're they're ready to take it. Yeah, and what's the latest on Owen and Courtney? How are their return to play protocols going? Yeah, they're still going through the normal protocols and. Uh, we we don't have any more news on that, so we're, we're they're just going through their, their normal process, and if they're right, um, they'll come into into uh, the squad. If they're if they're not, we'll we'll make sure that we we do everything we can to to make sure they're they're fully recovered before they come back in. Thank you.